Hi, Marie Scott here, Interpretive Ranger, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore, and we're in part two of touring the town of Glen Haven. We're in front of the inn, and there are, there are a lot of interesting pieces about this inn, also known as a hotel. It had approximately five names, and it was built in two stages. Alright, part of discovering the cultural history, the history of the area, is the fun part, and that's being a detective. When you look at the end, today, as it was redesigned in, 19, in the 1920s, what differences do you see between what it looks like today and what it did look like in the earlier part of the 19th century, the end of the 1800s? As you might recall, I mentioned that there are different ages associated with this inn. And one of the early guesstimates of the age of the inn was probably not any earlier than the 1800s, 1880s, excuse me. And that was based strictly on the outside appearance of the inn. Finally, we had some historic architects come in that really wanted to investigate when the inn was built or get a better idea of when it was built. And by taking the siding off and looking past the superficial, they found underneath vertical plank construction. Um, I think some people might call it balloon construction. Think of a barn. The boards are nailed up side by side. The insulation for this structure, this frontier hotel, is a narrower board nailed over the cracks. So there's your insulation, you're all set. Take a look at the windows. See how wavy they are? That's all part of helping us determine that, yeah, this is an old, old building. A lot of interesting stories are connected with the inn. And most of the stories are stories that I've got from people that visited the inn or are descendants of people that ran the inn or even owned the inn. One of those stories was from some kitchen help. And they said sometime during the 1950s, they believe is when it was when they worked here in the kitchen, that the state of Michigan was requiring automatic dishwashing machines. They, were always, they had always washed the dishes in the sink in the side room, but in order to comply and not get fined, they ordered an automatic dishwashing machine that they sent on the counter over here. They never hooked it up. Nothing in the law said they had to use it, just that they had one. All right, so that may have saved them some electricity from running the dishwashing machine. Other things that, the, that some of the hostesses or the waitresses talked about were serving salads. The inn was noted for salads, blueberry pancakes, blueberry pies, and the blueberries were collected locally from wild bushes. 